done Moxley and Cesaro Way before Gargano There was Savage and Roddy And Saturdays on NBC These five guys on Facebook Are gonna take a hard look Freak on Thursday Brings to you the wrestler Wrestler, wrestler on the week Like I said, week number 43 In our standings um, we did have a winner from the PW scorecards, but he never he never gave his <laughs> wrestler of the week picks. So, yeah, I don't. Uh, I think we're going to default to our Tim. He sent us uh, a letter in the mail. You've got mail, so we got we got mail this week. So we will. Uh, <laughs> we have Tim's picks. Uh, this week, uh, if the raw, anonymous raw general manager wants to put those up, we'll start with we'll start with Tim's picks for the week. Devin will also be at the the SmackDown in Hershey, although he won't um, he won't be in his three CT SmackDown shirt because I guess he doesn't have one. No, Devin, do you have to buy two seats or just one? Oh, the one in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> the one he's sitting Devin sent me a screenshot. January 13th episode. He said, spoiler alert, he's losing the belt to Seth at the Rumble. And, and he did not lose he said, the belt. if it comes true, I get Tim's picks for the whole month of February. But there it is. Okay. I've been proven correct by Devin himself. Seth is not the WWE Universal Champion. My picks stand, gentlemen. Well, Devin... You're too honest. You're an honest guy, Devin. I appreciate that. I do appreciate yeah. that. Um, so, so we're going to go over Tim's picks? Yeah, let's go to Tim's picks. Uh, number three, he had MJF. Picked... Oh, I thought we were all going to just say fun reasons why Tim picked that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Tim picked MJF, which is his three favorite letters in the alphabet and nothing to do with the actual professional wrestler, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. That's fair. That's fair. Um, he picked Brock Lesnar as, as number two. Why would he do that, um, Matt? No idea. <laughs> no idea. Okay. He, he, and he picked, picked Brock Lesnar number two because while watching the Royal Rumble, he was dressed as his favorite race wrestling adjacent character, Brock Lesnar guy. All right. <laughs> That's right. He was. I forgot about that. He looked yes. great, too. I'll tell you what. Affliction and, shirts uh, and everything. And his number one is Ronda Rousey. Ryan, why did he pick Ronda Rousey? He picked Ronda Rousey. Well, because he has a uh, a crush on Ronda Rousey. I mean, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. Uh, who wants to go next? I can go next. Matt, go ahead. Go ahead, Matt. So, number three. Are they going to go up on the screen? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I got there it. There we go. Uh, Number three, uh, Ronda Rousey. I picked her. The raw GM asleep at the wheel? Did he? Is he drinking and driving? Just because um, I wanted to have one of the Rumble match winners on there. And since Brock also lost that night, it didn't feel right to have him on there. Didn't deserve it. Come on, Brock. Bobby. Number two, Seth freaking Rollins, uh, mainly for the entrance to his match. The throwback to the Shield was absolutely fantastic. I think that was one of the best moments of the night, uh, and the match itself was fantastic as well. And because even though Devin is now outing himself, I thought that would result in him getting Jim's picks. So either way, still number two wrestler. When, of the week. The, when the Shield music hit, I thought somebody was watching like a YouTube video of the Shield music for no good reason whatsoever. Like, because I was like, what did, and then it was like, oh, so it's, they're doing this. Because I didn't, I would not have expected that. But you're number one, man. Number one uh, is Mickey James. Uh, we talked about a few weeks ago that she would be the one to be the first one through the forbidden door, but not only did she do it, she did it with the impact belt around her waist. And I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, very good. Who wants to go next? If she didn't, her pants could have fell down. Ah, got it. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for looking. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mine's similar, I guess, to, to Matt, so I can go. Um, I have uh, beautiful Bobby 
uh, as your new WWE Heavyweight Champion. He beat the Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. So that's a pretty big thing. Uh, Ronda Rousey, she returned. And on her first night back, was able to point up to the old uh, WrestleMania sign. Ronda Rousey. So uh, sign pointing season is here, folks. She pointed to it before it was on fire, too. So that's that's pretty important. Maybe she, she didn't shot have that, like, fireballs weird from her hand. smirk this time like she did last <laughs> time. Premonition. Yeah, I think she's you over think... wrestling fans still, so that's fine. And uh, you think only Ronda Rousey could pre- prevent WrestleMania sign fire? Uh, I think she's the one who lit it on fire with her finger. Ridiculous. Uh, Seth freaking Rollins, uh, old SFR, um, win over Roman Reigns, even though it was by DQ. I thought it was the best match of the night. <clears throat> Excuse me. I um, He came out in the shield gear. That was cool. I think he's just hitting on all cylinders. I thought. Like the uh, the pandemic SmackDown stained glass Seth Rollins was maybe high to power Seth Rollins, but I feel like he just keeps getting better with what he's doing he's... and like really coming into his own and like the silly outfits and it's just so over the top. It's so he's good. So this God Seth Rollins God. is he's he's is so, so good. good. One one of one of the best, definitely the, this generation easily. Proud two thousands. I mean, he's 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 freaking awesome. He, he's freaking awesome. Uh, intern Mark, you want to go? You want me to go? Well, you know what, Big Jim? Why don't you go? It's the season of giving. All right, I will go. My uh, my number three is the new WWE champion himself, Bobby, 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 who, Bobby, who, Bobby, Bobby Lashley. WWE champion Ooh. beating Brock Lesnar with uh, with the aid of, of Roman Reigns, but that's okay. Win's a win. Champion's a champion. Uh, my number two is Ronda Rousey coming back and, and earning a shot at WrestleMania. Still not sure who she's going to pick. She did not decide on Monday, um, which should probably give you a little bit of clue if she's going to SmackDown. I, my guess is she's going to pick uh, she's going to pick Charlotte. And uh, number one a match is you've never seen. <laughs> that's true. Uh, my my number one is a guy who lost. No, calm down, Kirby. It's okay. Uh, my number one time. is uh, Brock Lesnar. He may have lost the WWE title, but he um, won the Royal Rumble. Got to point at the sign at the end of the night uh, Monday on Raw. Cut a great little promo, and uh, pr- I think put the fear of God into Adam Pearce. Didn't even have to qualify for the uh, Elimination Chamber match because Adam Pearce doesn't want any of that smoke again. So uh, Brock Lesnar's had a pretty damn good week. Uh, Intern Mark, let's go to you. All right, number three, I picked uh, Bodacious Robert Lashley. Bobby! Bobby! After he found Cindy, he won the Universal Championship. That was exciting. What's and then this? number two, even though he lost, he won the men's Royal Rumble, they're calling it. Brock Lesnar. He wasn't even advertised to be in that Rumble. So I gave him the number two spot. Card number one. To change. It is. You never know. Anything can and usually does happen in the Anything World Wrestling Entertainment. World Wrestling Federation Entertainment. You, you just don't know what's going to happen. And then number one was that rowdy Ronda Rousey. She wasn't even advertised in the match either, and she won. That was the women's rumble. Crazy. So, yeah, that's, I went with rowdy Ronda Rousey as number I think, one. I think my honorable mention of the week is the Miz. Between Miz was good. You know, Maurice's you know, outfit I, on Saturday and oh, then the, <laughs> the Instagram. Make a blind man talk yesterday. about singing again. <laughs> My God. Um, all right, let's go to the winners for the week. Uh, the top four for the week are um, number four. Carrying Cross. Have, we, what's that? Was Carrying Cross number four this week? I don't I don't think he was. I, I don't think he was. I think number four, we had Mickey James uh, at number four for the week. Uh, number three, 
And Mickey James had five points. Seth freaking Rollins, SFR himself, eight points. Number two for the week, Brock Lesnar with 14 points. And our number one, the returning rowdy Ronda Rousey, 17 points. Boy, that's a solid number. Uh, The top 10 does not change. As of week number 43, it remains the same. Killer carrying cross just we got to get him out of life. Under ten weeks left, and carrying cross still in the top ten. Um, top three remain Brian Danielson, thirty eight points. Matt Cardona at thirty nine, and the big dog, the tribal chief of the World Wrestling Federation, Roman Reigns, remains at sixty points. So that's where we are after forty three weeks for the wrestler of the week. Since John Moxley, since Sorrow, way before Gargano, there was Savage and Roddy and Saturdays on NBC. These five guys on Facebook are gonna take a hard look. Free come Thursday, brings to you the wrestler, wrestler, wrestler on the week.